Today's topic is all about insulation resistance testing for our rotor part of our generator. First step, F30 disconnect, same with the procedure and previous topic. To isolate this measuring protection or control circuits, this is the fuse that we need to remove. Generator is Hyundai 3 phase synchronous generator brushless. Exciter voltage 95 volts DC. As you can see in the name plate, 95 volts DC. In this form, they recommend a process take up to one minute for insulation resistance testing. Measuring setting voltage about 500 volts DC. This is the required setting. In this form, we need to fill up this during dry dock or maintenance for PMS schedule which is stator winding insulation testing and then rotor testing for IR. The important things to remember, IR testing for exciter unit is optional. Yes, this is optional. It's because this is low voltage and not mandatory. But if it is in dry dock, the alternator is overhauled, they probably advise to carry out IR test. And all you need is to short the five points that I will show you in this video. The diode, baristor, and exciter unit must be short, shorted or jumpered with a alligator clip to avoid damage of semiconductor. We need to open this cover for alternator where we can see the exciter rotor and then we can access properly. This cover and then other side. After removing the filter cover, the parts that you can see here is baristor, rotating diode, baristor. Then, at the right side, exciter stator, and then rotor. At the left side, main winding stator, and then the main winding rotor. Next, at the other side, you need to check the, at the top, baristor rotating diode at the center and the below rotating diode at the right side main stator winding and main rotor winding at the left side exciter stator and exciter rotor we need to check the diagram and I explain the diagram so that we understand properly this is the rotor part labeled main winding G1 that is the stator main winding G1 connected with baristor then that is the rotating rectifier one two three three sets of rotating rectifier and then this is g2 is exciter baristor in the schematic is only one but in actual there is a two pieces g2 is exciter g1 is the main rotor winding this is the baristor the terminal is going to g1 and then other Terminal is to going to G1. That is the first baristor. This is the set of the baristor. Then number two baristor. In the actual there is two baristor, but in the schematic is only one. But all connection is same. The rotating rectifier, the end of the first rotating rectifier is going to the exciter, next to the exciter, and then the third one is going to the next exciter. This is the set of rotating rectifier. We have one, two, three rotating rectifier. This is the points. One, two, three, four, five. This is the important points that we need to short or jumper before we do IR testing I have here the five points alligator clip two black and three red with label one two three four five the two blacks are for the main re rotor winding and then the three color red alligator clip is for the exciter winding and also the important is we have a insulation tester 
this alligator clip is only DIY first thing I will show you the bar store the logo of bar store there is a label 3 and 4 we need to zoom in first 3 and 4 that is the bar store and then the fourth terminal is going to the rotor main winding number 4 terminal is going to rotor main winding next we have 3 rectifier we need this is the logo of the rectifier and test a terminal 3 2 1 okay I already connect the five terminals first the number one going to the main rotor winding then next number two is going to rotor winding then number three is going to the rotor exciter number four going to the next rotor exciter winding last but not the least number five is terminal and then the connector going to the exciter After all terminals are connected, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we need to use a insulation tester. We need to set uh, 500, 500 volts as per manual. We also have a video flow insulation tester. Browse our playlist. First thing, ground, connect to ground, and then test select the 500 and then test press test button almost 0 0.005 select one of those terminals and then press test button for your IR test start 2247 or 2250 mega ohms that is our reading by the way the range of our IR tester is 400 mega ohms and we have other topics for the generator main switchboard browse R generator playlist and other videos thank you for watching and don't forget to watch the part one for ir test